Welcome back to the next episode of The Sinking City. Today we're going to be working on the major crime scenes that we picked up from the police officer at the bar where we started investigating the smuggler ring for the main quest. And I know where I planned on picking up the main quest again, but I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so going to be doing a bunch of these little side quests because they don't take quite as long and we'll probably pick up with the uh, main quest again once I'm back from vacation so for now let's get in here and figure out if this is the right place E. Brian's apartment All right this is supposed to be the rich guy that um, that died I guess of the rich guy's apartment. Other than it being a little bit cleaner, it doesn't really look all that different from any other home here in, in, in is it Old Grove? No, not Old Grove. Um, Innsmouth? the name of the town. I think that's the name of the town of where we're at. Alright, well, I don't see anything down here. I hear knocking. Of course, that could be the creaking of the of the building. Entirely possible. But I would expect, if this guy is dead, that there would be the, the wild beasts, were beasts, whatever they're calling them. Alright, well, for a rich guy's a penthouse, ooh, what's that? Oh, bullets. And I can't carry any more. Ooh, shotgun shells, too. There are a lot of holes in the floor, so they must do a lot of spying on their neighbors. Another floor, maybe? Oh, yep, here they are. Whoa, yep. Oh, jeez, come on. How oh, can you? Goodness. So this must be considered an infested area. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Come here, you little thing. There we go. Oh, well, we got one of them when we broke through the door. Where'd he go? Alright, dude, where are you? I hate it when they disappear like that. I'd like to kill it. One precise strike. He died almost instantly. Yeah, I'd rather kill it before that monster before we take pictures, but, whoa. Did that work? Yes, that, that worked. Good job. So did we get all the evidence we need, though? We have not, so we're missing something here. Oh, there we go. This card certifies that E. Bryan was a member in good standing of the Oakmont Photo Club. He joined after the flood. And that's all our evidence. So we can uh, get the flock out of here. There's 
if I find the right stairs. Whoa. Oh, he went in there. Well, live and let live, I say. Whew. That was a close one. Not very polite of me, I guess, to um, leave it for whoever comes home. But, yeah, better them taking care of it than me. And wasting our bullets. So, we actually need to go... Let's see where the next one is. Oh, it's an old grove. We need to find a fast travel location. Looks like that one's kind of our closest one there. Since we're right here, we might as well run over there. And then pop over to the Throgmorton Mansion. I think that's the closest location we've got to, to the last crime scene. Excuse me, gentlemen. And ladies. Looks like we can just go up and over here. On this other side, wait a minute, where are we? Oh, it's City Hall, so up this way. I like the fast travel system, but I don't know, they're a little far apart sometimes. Which is normally fine, but if you're trying to like hurry and get from one side of the map to the other, they can be a little inconvenient. Ooh, you are very dapper looking. Alright, let me do you. And I will meet you guys over here. I think we needed to go over, uh, yeah. See, we need to come down here and then go over like two or three blocks. So uh, let's run over this way. At first, I didn't, wasn't really like enthused with having to place the map markers down and everything. But I'm actually finding I'm really liking it. I think it's just because it was so different there in the beginning and what is over in there oh it's like a, a fair it's a big ferris wheel oh very cool i wonder if there's anything that brings us over to this area probably oh well that doesn't look good that's probably our location I would say so. Alright, well, yep. Shotgun out. The door won't budge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is it. Oh, and he's just hanging right here. I'm guessing it wasn't suicide. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that was good enough. Still not good enough. There we go. And I'm sure there's probably some clue we're missing. So, since he was just hanging right by the... Uh, the doorway. Yeah, definitely not suicide considering how the table's way over there. Whoa. Oh, yep, what was that? Oh, jeez, yep. 
Oh, little ones. Get out of my way. Um, where are you? Holy heck. Where's the big one? Where'd the big one go? Good gravy. Whoa. Is he upstairs, maybe? Downstairs? There's no downstairs. Let me find this guy. Um, there we go. <laughs> Where did he go? I really oh, dislike that. Oh, yes. This card certifies that our backer was a member in good standing of the Oakmont Photo Club. He only joined a few months ago. And there's another one of those flowers. But where did the monster go? on the table here. Now, I know we gotta go back down and investigate that bracelet. But, uh, I'd really like to find this monster first. Um, uh, nothing there. Okay. Alright, well, I guess he's not gonna pop back up. I haven't known you long, but you mean so much to me. Oh. Barney Bye. Is was involved with this guy. Oh, well, who who killed them? Yeah. Whoa. Weird. So, the police officer, the guy that looked like Barney Fife, uh, was involved with him. So that's why he was, like, investigating. He must be investigating the photo club, then. Well, let's take this evidence back to him and see what he has to say for himself. And he is, uh, let me see. Salvation over here. Alright, well, let's get in this bar. I am curious to find out if this goes anywhere. Uh, where did you go, dude? Where did our. Oh, that's right. He was going to meet us upstairs. Oh, there you are. Whoa. You're not Barney Fife, though. You're you. Well, yeah, I know why you're so invested. I know invested. why you wanted this case cracked. Found some clues in Becker's house. And you were close, weren't you? How dare you. I... He... He was special. A man you meet only once in life. He understood me. I won't stop until I find those who did it. I'm sorry for your loss, Sam. And don't worry. I'm a private eye. Emphasis on the private. Thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. There's a link between all the victims. I found these cards in each house. A photography club membership. They all had them. Yeah. Seems like a good place to investigate. Thank you, Reed. I knew you'd find something. <laughs> I might pay this club a visit. See if there's anyone who has an issue with them. 
I got those photos you wanted. You got my compensation. Terrific, thank you. Uh, here, take this. Some of these were pretty horrible. I hope you find the killer. Me too, Reed. Me too. Take care. Okay. Oh, and we got the police envoy costume. Nice. Alright, well, who are you, little dude, over here? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Okay. Huh. Well, I wonder if we get to check out the photography club. Oh, that could be fun. Alright. Uh, we have one other thing I want to clean up in this episode. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's open house. We have one more location to, to check out, I believe. And then we can turn this one in as well, right? Yeah. So let me figure out where this last house is real quick. Oh, let me, um, let me change our evidence to that one, pin that one. And let's see, we've already done that house. And we did, uh, we did the house over here. So we just have one more. Let me figure out where it's at. Ah. Uh, over there. All right. Looks like we can just run straight past the hospital and pick up the location we need. We still need to finish his quest, but he said that they were much stronger monsters, so maybe we want to wait on that just a little bit until we're a little bit uh, stronger ourselves. Oh, yes. I can't carry any more of those. All right. And this is the house he wants to rent out? Well, it certainly looks like it's seen better days. Where are they? Hiding behind the walls? Yeah, I don't, there's no jump button. I don't think we're gonna get up there. All right. Oh, we are almost dead too. Oh, jeez, what was that? Oh, good gravy. Oh, that didn't get it. I should get experience for it. There we go. Alright, get me out of here. Yep, definitely get me out of here. I think we got, did we get everything here, I hope? Yes, we did. Haha. -ha. And let me heal. That's such a weird way to heal. <laughs> and we can go back over to the fish market now and turn this one in. And we've completed two quests today, so that's a good thing. If I can find that, there it is. Ooh, hey, dude. Looking good. And our fish market is over here in Salvation Harbor. Alright, now we're in the right location. And 
this guy should just be in here and we can return everything. Hopefully this is all he had wanted us to do. Yeah. I did what you asked. Not sure what difference it will make given the state of your houses. Hush! My properties suit a discerning and budget conscious clientele. They are of the finest quality. Right. Seems you and I have different standards of quality, Walter. You don't know this Borg like I do, newcomer. I'll beat old Victor at his own game. Here, take a reward. And don't forget to recommend my lodgings to your friends. I hope they are never in such dire need of shelter. Huh. All right, and uh, yeah, we can't carry any more. Oh, so we've unlocked some new, a bunch of new outfits. And I kind of like to go and check them out, so we can run right back over to our hotel and check these out real quick. Let's see, the Devil's Reef is right there all right we are back at our wardrobe let's see what we've got we have our day wear which is what we've been wearing this is the fisherman the police envoy the master sleuth oh i kind of like that very sherlock holmes-esque and that one uh, that one's interesting should we go Master Sleuth for a while? I don't know. I really like the the one we've been wearing, but sure, why not? Alright, well, we shall continue investigating. Ooh, wait a minute. The EOD is poisoning people. Recently, doctors have reported numerous cases of fatal food poisoning among those who receive fish from the organization known as the EOD. What is the reason for these deaths, and what would the EOD stand to gain from them? These questions remain unanswered, perhaps, but perhaps the famously charitable organization is not that charitable after all. In any case, we highly advise, advise our readers to stay away from EOD members and to refuse any gifts from them, especially food. The cost of free fish might be your life. So the, oh, we get the newspapers pinned to our board. Oh, that's a cool way to get them. Today we are all shaken by the tragic death of the promising researchers who went to study the depths of the sea, but were doomed to never return. The city mourns the loss of these brilliant minds who laid down their lives for the sake of science. The names of the expedition members will be engraved on a memorial established at Oakmont University. So that was where we decided to leave the, um, the scientists down underwater. Yeah, I think he looks pretty spiffy. Yeah, we'll rock it for a little while, see what it does for us. But I think this is a good place to leave it for now. So thank you for joining me. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.